Yeah, your bun is tall. Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Haul. Zeb is going to fix the camera because my bun exceeds the filming limit and Zeb's head was cut off. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you the junk that we bought throughout the week and we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. Um, and if you want to shop along, you can just go to jamierayvintage.com, check the Saturday Thrift Haul collection. It's all loaded. Those of you that have the app have already been doing some shopping. So if you guys want to know the second the haul goes live, be sure to download the Jamie Ray Vintage app so you get a push notification letting you know that it is indeed live. All right. The first thing we're going to show is this cauldron because it's in my way. I've got, a, I got something I'm going to start painting. So hopefully by the time the stream is done, we can we can show you what it's going to look like. He bought himself a balloon and I'm like, ah. What are you gonna do with that? He's like, I got a plan. So a man with a plan it was cannot really stop you. Cool. All right. So this little cauldron, it's it's like pressed tin. It almost looks like it's a woven basket, and then it's got this ruffled edge. And these are brass feet that have been cast. Um, it's not old. I think it's it's been made. It's handmade for sure because of the hammered areas. But we got it for four dollars at the Desert Industries or the DI thrift store, and we're selling it for twenty eight ninety five. Now, we are planning on painting this, but Halloween is coming. So should you want to put like some dry ice or something in here and have Ooh. it be a cauldron like this, let us know. We'll wait a couple days to paint this. If you're the one that gets it, message Caitlin at, what is it? We should say. Info at jamierayvintage.com. Yeah, info at jamierayvintage.com. We should say it, this is September 10th. So if you don't email by September 12th and get a confirmation, then it has. It's gonna get painted. It could. It's at the risk of getting painted. But Mariah walked in today and she's like, "Ooh, a Halloween cauldron." I was like, "Oh, I didn't even think of that. I was gonna French country <laughs> that situation right up." What up? Everybody's just saying hello. All right. So this is. It's not old, but it's a great cutting board. Looks like it's a couple different kind of uh, wood grains. It's acacia which great hardwood. What is acacia? Like, what does that tree look like? I, I have acacia rolling pins, but I have no idea what it looks like. They're all over like the Pacific Rim area. Like Seattle? No, like Hawaii on <laughs> over to the Philippines. And why did I think that was like Seattle? I don't know. Geography and I, not that good. We're not. <laughs> I cannot name the 50 United States. I think, I think that's where it's from. If I'm wrong, correct me because I don't have the internet right here in front of me to double check. Uh, we thrifted this for a dollar. A dollar. Um, we're going to sand it up a little bit. It does have a little logo back here from the original. It's like Threshold was the original maker. That's Target. Target, whatever. We're going to sand it up, probably leave some of the cut marks. We'll redo it with some hemp oil, which is food safe, and it'll be amazing. Yeah, we do that a lot. So if you guys find cutting boards and they're just kind of like old and dingy, if you sand them up, make sure you're using like a higher grit sandpaper, like 220. we're selling it for eighteen ninety five. Yeah, make sure you're using a higher grit sandpaper so you don't squiggle it. And then just use hemp oil. Um, we use the Sweet Pickens hemp oil because that's what we sell on our website um, because it's food safe. You don't want to be putting oil on it. All right, tell them about your basket find that you were so excited and then we got it home and it was it had some stuff. <laughs> so I bought this basket. I'm actually still excited about it. The bottom actually reminds me of like a paper plate holder. Yeah. It's got like the little braided edge on here, but it's got a really fun design. It does have some authentic battle damage and I was going to sell it for $40. I paid $5 for it. So I'm going to sell it for $29.95 because it's got like the damage here. But I do think it could be a skipping basket. And I know. <laughs> I'm in flip-flops. Let's I'm, see if I can skip in flip-flops. Let's flip -flops. do the flip-flop skip. Do it. <laughs> I got to stretch out. So, all right. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's extra clumpy. <laughs> it's not like a... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> got to get those knees high. That's a good one. That is a good basket. Oh, did you tell them how much? Um, yeah, twenty nine ninety five for that one. All, All right. right, what's next? I'm going to scooch these your way because they can sit in front of you, and I'm going to start clearing space. So this is a pot holder. Let me show you the top of it. It's amazing. You could put planter on here too. Um, sorry, I had a nose itch. Watch out for those. But great detail. This is cast, and then this is wrought iron. And let me see. This We got this from the other side thrift boutique we cheated on di don't tell them yeah we were up in salt lake area getting jamie's uh birthday present that she wasn't allowed to see even though she was in the car yeah and um, we had your aunties for yeah lunch. we did have my aunts picked it up on wednesday 
after waste not wednesday it was six dollars we're selling it for 24.95 it's good as is every now and then you find those gems at the thrift store you don't have to do anything to you don't have to fix you don't have to clean they're just ready to go yeah that one's good i love the patina on that one although the question remains if it's a plant stand and you put a plant on it can you see the design um if you talk to my mom she said she would tell you no so my mom said the same thing but i just think it's cool and maybe you don't use it for a plant stand i don't know but it's really cool um let's see if there's any questions do, 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 do. everybody's good do you guys want to see jamie's present because i are know you showing was... the balloon tonight colleen we are showing the colleen, balloon tonight. the balloon here it is so it's flat and hollow on the back because it's made to hang on the wall which i think it would be really cool and in a number of places i'm actually going to paint it and give it a french country look tonight that's happening it's going to start soon here uh it was eight dollars you can see how big it is next to me it's here it's huge it's going to cost like five million dollars to ship um but. we're selling it for 89.95 once i'm all done i'm i've got uh, several different paints if you want to see that once i'm once we get going here stay stay tuned I'm going to put some gold around here. We're going to do some dark waxes. We're going to do some wet distressing. It should be good. And if it's not good, it wasn't my idea. If it was if good. If it doesn't work out, I'll let it go bake in the sun after I wax it for a few days. You know, we'll clear that off and then we'll spray paint it. You never something. know until you try. I think we'll, it'll be we'll good. We'll spray it with some cottage colors, maybe like a pink or something fun. If it doesn't work out, you can always fix it. Okay. Um, All right. <clears throat> Do, do, do. I have a couple other big things in front of me. This is a tiny little doll chair. We always, always scoop these up because they're just fun. If my Aunt Jane were here, she'd probably snatch it and hang it on a shelf somewhere or up on her wall. She has a whole wall full of chairs. Yeah, and Jane's wall is cute. In fact, I remember when Zeb and I, were we dating? Yeah, or we, we were. were newly married. No, we were still dating. and Because I wound up sleeping in her boys' room. But I just remember going to her house and she had this like room with all these chairs like little chairs all along the wall and i remember thinking it was so cute i don't remember why we landed at aunt jane's i know that there was a uh uh steak conference no that was before we even knew each other yeah i know i don't remember i don't remember why but at any length we, we might paid, have been married i don't remember now we paid three dollars <laughs> too long ago <laughs> we're gonna paint it and sell it for 22.95 and we actually just sold a chair similar in size in the shop so it's good to have another one it does need a touch of repair right here. Can we just sand that? Yeah, it's, it used to probably have a dowel and something that went over the top. I'm not sure. Maybe just finials or something. I can't. Oh, you're probably connected. right. Little finials up on the top here. Okay, but that that will get painted. All right. So we looked this up. Oh, Sherry wants to see my um, birthday present. Oh, the birthday present. So. There's a little bit of a backstory behind this. I, Jamie has always, always, since she saw them. Always for like two years. <laughs> yeah, because they've been made for two years. You can see it over there, kind of. Um, we had her teal mixer. This is the seven quart KitchenAid, but there's a wrinkle to the story. I looked everywhere for those copper mixers and could not find them anymore because it was like a signature thing that they were doing for a, a year and then also they, they stopped. Also, the ones made of copper were like $1,000. Yeah, and, and then they had a copper color one and they did all these things, but they do not make them anymore. I could not find one used. I was going to maybe get one used, refurbish it, clean it up. Could not find that. So that one was pearl, the pearl color. I took it all apart, disassembled everything, sanded it all down, and then I painted it copper, and it's got a couple clear coats on it, too. She actually hasn't used it yet. <laughs> yeah, there's been a little bit going on the last few days. Yes, there has. We've had busy. five football games since Wednesday. Yeah. Five. Three today. So if I look tired, that's because I spent most of the day out in the, out in the sun. sun cheering and yelling. And then the game last night was super late because it was a televised game. So we didn't even get done until like 11. Week. And then Eliza was at a friend's house. We had to pick her up anyways. But I'm super excited about that. And I'm most excited because it's seven quarts and my other one was like five quarts. It's five. It and was so, still the pro line, but it was five. And this one has like a riveted handle and it's got a really big knob on it. My other one needed to be serviced anyway. So I'm going to service my old one. And then I'll save it. And then whichever daughter gets married first, I'll give her that KitchenAid because it really wasn't that old. It just needs to be serviced. And then I'll save this one. And now when I make bread, I can make like a big double batch and it'll fit in there a lot better. And it kind of has a shield on it, which is cool. I've never had one of those yeah. like plastic shields that like keeps everything from 
So that was her birthday out. present, and we're also going, still going to France in October. Kelly says Colleen wants the balloon like it is. Colleen? She wants it for her baby's nursery. Did you already buy it? Did you buy it? Because I had like a whole You French have to buy it and plan. give us the order number, and then we'll change plans. We'll paint these candlesticks. <laughs> I guess I was really excited. I was gonna start painting it like but right now. It's baby's nursery. All right, if it's if you got it and you really want it unpainted, I'll leave it as is. All right, let's talk about this. This is Linda like has a, an original copper mixer. Oh, Linda, how can I buy that from you? <laughs> Good. I like the I like the you DIY'd it. It means a lot to me. So it's up until it. three a.m. Yeah. Good times. All right. So this actually had no clue it was worth a ton of money. I've just. It I liked it. Cool. I thought it was cool. I'm like, is that a pizza paddle to get the pizzas out? It's a little thick for that. So I don't think that's what it is, but I'm not exactly sure. It says 1762 and that's carved on there. I think from the looks of it, it's actually hand carved. It was before CNC time. Yeah, it does have a couple of splits in the bottom because it is older. Yeah, but... it's from it's from the Telecity Chair Company, Telecity, Indiana. And this not was Telecity, Tell City. Tell City, sorry. <laughs> Tell city. Um, and this is uh, number 48 Andover is the finish on this. So these are worth be about 80 to a hundred dollars is what I was told. Yeah. Um, and this one's like a really good one. We paid I forgot the price this one. Six dollars. Should you not put it on the, oh, it's, it's sold. There. It's sold already. So let, hold on. If it's sold, it should show. Us. This... Did it sell? I don't see it. Hold on. Oh. Did we not get it on there? We're showing it and we didn't Wood get it. Wood paddle. I'm going to look. I'm going to set it aside over here. I don't remember changing the name on the number because i think you said you did were you doing not? it remember did you not put it mariah did it sell you said you were doing that one um, so i didn't do it this wooden paddle sold All right, no what's the i think that she did saw she another balloon? one tell city tell no it's right. still there am i bet you that no it's tagged it's 79.95 79.95 it's in the saturday thrift hall it says it's sold, but it shows on our website that it's Maybe not. Maybe we had the quantity wrong. Okay, let me check that. That is possible. All right, while well, she's looking up that so that we can have correction, correct uh, quantities, well, I'm going to have to pull. This has got nope. like a wobbly base, and I'm going to have to pull the felt off the bottom here. Mariah, I'm going to text really you the link. It's a wood turned hand, uh, not, not hand turned. I think it's just wood turned. Mariah says that. Candlestick. Colleen has not bought that yet. All right, Colleen, you got like, Colleen, you got like a few minutes because I need to get it started. So if you want it, you got to do it. If you, you don't want it, I got to tighten this up. Okay. See how it's wobbly? Look, it's all kinds of jiggly. It says sold out. On the balloon or on the paddle? I don't know, Mariah. Click that link. So I'm just pulling all of this off. It's just felt. It still has little rubber pieces on there. The felt was probably just to... Give it a finished look in case you ever wanted to look at the bottom of it. I don't know. And it was like cheap plasticky felt. All right, now let's see if I can turn this tight. Mariah, you can go ahead and share that link. It's nope. not been sold. That's a nail in there. The the metal on the bottom here is just a weight. Okay, so now I've really done it. I twisted the nails right off. What did you do? Here, show them this. What did you do? Uh, show them that little All piece All right, so there. this... Is broken on the bottom, but somebody has fixed it. It's like turned. It was three dollars. We're gonna paint it, and it will be sixteen ninety five. But somebody I'll fixed right it really good, so I'm not gonna re-glue it or anything. I'm just gonna paint it and make it look cute. We sell a ton of candlesticks. I'm actually kind of bummed because we were at Savers. These ladies had these gorgeous um, candlesticks, and I can't remember the brand that they were, but they were like that bougie brand that I bought candlesticks before, but it's lost my like left my brain. But anyways, there were two really pretty ones, so I was kind of sad. But I like. Um, the simple one, when you paint them, they're like very farmhouse. And I think we'll paint these two, even though we're not going to sell them as a pair, we'll paint them to match. And we do that a lot because then we can put them together in the shop and they look good. And sometimes people will buy one and then they'll buy the other and then we sell two. All right. Man, was he cranky. Me? I don't know. No, I don't think you. No, I don't know. what Linda said, man... He was cranky after the game. <laughs> well, I don't know why it says sold out. I'm gonna have to fix that link. All right, you you do you, and I'm gonna figure I'm this out. I'm fixing candlesticks over here. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? Is it in the wrong? You inventory? added the stock to the wrong. I didn't you added do that. it. Yeah, I remember because Ivy forgot to put 
you it in the news store before I took over. Okay, Jamie forgot to put it in the news store. Why can't I blame stuff on other people? Not, All right, Mariah, try it now. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. All right, let's see. We have, for whatever reason, there's like new store and old store, and I don't know. Maybe Caitlin can't figure out how to get rid of it. Why did you count this to me? It's so sticky. I didn't. I didn't and if you put it, it in the wrong inventory, then it shows sold, but it should be good now. Okay, this is now going to become glued and it glued better. <clears throat> Do you have glue? Did you tell them about this one? Yeah. So apparently I'm going to have to paint these. I'm like, well, she hasn't bought it yet, but I know. I, she's got Is a there a dark minutes, food safe stain for cutting boards? Yes, D. If you use milk paint and you water it down, so we sell sweet pickings, you can get our website. I, we have browns and grays, whichever color you want. Water it down and then use that on your raw wood that will faux stain it. It's food safe. Then you seal it with hemp oil or you mix the milk paint with hemp oil, just really water down and you can make a tinted hemp oil and you can get like a stain that will definitely be food safe because it's bio certified. All right, I think FDA. I fixed it, Mariah, but maybe not. All right, I'm fixing what I broke. Oh, I thought it was already broke. It was wobbly, and I thought it was screwed in from the bottom, but that's just a big metal plate that is glued in really <laughs> well, and I don't want to break it farther. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, glue these here. You're gonna make a connection. Yep. It's this it's wood not glue. Straight. It's that's as straight as it was. Okay. Karen Denning says I bought the paddle. All right, Karen. Karen's a, that's a local pickup. I know. I haven't seen Karen in forever. Karen Lehigh Beat Corner Canyon. Oh, hi, Carter. He just texted me. And um, she, 846. Oh, it just went live and Karen did buy it. Good on you, waiting. Karen. You'll have to tell me where you're putting it when you pick it up. My nephew Carter's watching with Mariah and he will not go away until I say hi. All right. Hey, Carter. All right. We're good. <laughs> It only took me 10 minutes to figure out the problem with that item. So hopefully that's the only one that I did the wrong way. Um, Zeb, how hard do you think refinishing a bathtub is? I bought some kits, but it looks overwhelming. So Angela, it was super easy. type in Jamie Ray Vintage Tub. Refinishing, probably. That's probably all you need. And the video should pop up. We actually did it on a live video. Mm -hmm. um, and it was fairly simple. And we actually have a video doing the same technique on two sinks. And it's edited, so either one will help you. And it really wasn't that hard. This one didn't get priced either. Did we miss this one too? <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a humdinger of a live stream. <laughs> We're epic. Mariah, is that one listed? That's the paddle. That's so this is tall. three bucks. I'm going to guess that it's going to sell for about 18 Oh my gosh, 16. I think you're exactly right. 1895. Yeah, 1895. This one was 1695. Oh. This one's like solid wood turned really ornately. This one is a, it's Oh yeah, I sold. It's solid MDF. <laughs> um What is MDF? We every time we say MDF medium people ask density us. density fiberboard so it's a lot of sawdust glued together yeah but it's supposed to not be eco-friendly but it seems like it would be because it's just leftover sawdust because uh, they the process they have to do to make it and the factories it's it's pretty it's not intense. good it's pretty intense okay Lots so i got this ohio buckeye state carved bird and it actually looks like I'm sure they didn't. Well, maybe they did. But this is what, when you use milk paint, sometimes it gets that grayed out stain look. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. I'm not going to paint it because I really love the way this bird looks. And somebody hand carved it. We bought it for $3 at the other side boutique in Salt Lake. And we're selling it for $14.95. And is, I like it. It is cool. I like it a lot. It's a good shape. It's kind of unique. It's like a very alert duck. Usually they put the necks down a little farther and curve them around and all that sort of stuff. The duck has sold too, so somebody else must have also liked it. All right. All right, let's show these because these sold. And they, oh, I feel like cool. they're in my way. These are, they are a little bit in your way. probably the one of the cooler items I've found in a while. Originally from Pottery Barn, the tag is still on the bottom. Um, and like this was $50 by itself when it was new. And this was, let's see, I just don't want to break it because it's already sold. I think this one was like $70 brand new. <laughs> and they still look like they're still pretty much brand new. And we sold them for $50 the for the set. The set was $49.95. Show them how cool, like the, I i don't know what you put in I'll them. I'll bring them But close. my mom was thinking, and my sister were saying candy. My sister's here visiting. 
Um, and I don't know, like, I feel like you could use them for things that you bake in often for like a cocoa or a coffee bar. So they're not like airtight in the thing. There's about a half an inch gap. Yeah. So I don't know that you'd want to keep Dry uh, flour or something in there or sugar, maybe some salts, but they're just really, they're, they're hand, hand blown. blown. Oh, yeah. Jinx. jinx. And the bottom is like thick glass. It's like humped in the middle. I don't know. It's really cool. Do you want to carefully remove these? And the wood boxes surrounding them is some sort of exotic yeah, hardwood. Teak. There you go. I don't know my wood the way Zeb does. So I just went with exotic. All right. Interesting find of the week. I, you guys know I love to buy Pampered Chef because it always sells really well for us. This is an eight and a half inch personal like pizza stone. So if you buy like those little Tostinos or whatever, party pizzas, you know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you you haven't eaten those. Um, and this was a dollar fifty, but we're selling it for thirteen ninety five. Is that what this was? I can't read here. Yeah. But I looked them up, and they sell for anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. They're online. not making them anymore. It's perfect for you. So your maybe they're around. a hot ticket Pamper Chef item. I don't know, but this I always is... pick up Pamper Chef stoneware because it's a really good seller. Honestly, I don't know that this one's ever been used. It just looks like it's been like no. underneath in someone's drawer. It would under be their, dirty under if it their was island used. or something. It's it's pretty much brand new. Yeah, all my stone because it gets dark and seasoned because you don't wash them. You just get them wet and like brush them off. Let's show them this, and I'll glue it together while you soak. Okay, some do you have the? Stuff. I have glue. Do, do, do. Yes, Deborah is my visiting student. Have they shown the cuddle pigs yet? We will show them in a minute. They are cool. We did a reel on this, and Zeb's going to show you how we're going to put it together. So we had a cloche, which that's what I found. This first. had like a candle glued into the bottom of it. It wasn't glued; it was like it was, melted. It was probably like this in some sort of. Is that hand blown? There's like bubbles yeah, in it. Yeah, it's seated, and it's not exactly perfect. It does have a slight lean to it. Yeah, that's cool. And then the inside, it's got a and lean. And then to this it. is just a little Sunday cup or something or pudding cup. Um, we're selling it. So this was a buck. This was a buck. I think this was 75 cents. It wasn't very expensive. So we're 275 on it. We're selling it for 14 and I am going to assemble it right now in front of your eyes. You're in minutes. It's going to turn into a cloche with a pedestal. All right. So let's keep, you want me to keep showing the junk? Yeah, you keep showing stuff and I'll, Hold on, I got an itch. so this is the gorilla glue. Um, the super glue gel is what we're using. Because we used it the other day to fix some stoneware. We so we got a super chat. Sally Von Zwoll sending prayers to your family. Oh, Congrats you, on the grand opening next week. The shop looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. We appreciate that. We are super excited uh, for the grand opening next week. Um, Les says, why is Pampered Chef so popular? Because it's good. It's like good stuff. People, it's like a cult classic when it comes to like their stoneware. And some of their stoneware they don't make anymore. Or for a while during COVID, it was like hard to get. Maybe we're going to use some of this glue. Um, let's see. See if there's any more questions. All right. We're good. Okay. Zeb is going to glue it together. I'm going to keep moving on. Um, this is like a, what would you call this? Like a filig filigree? Is that the word for it? Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like a pressed tin, but it's brass. It's like gold. It's like very vintage. It's a very bright, shiny brass. I'm using, all you can see is my bun. So that way, hopefully, it put your head down and maybe it'll. <laughs> I'll look away. With it. it still knows. It's not, it's not the, what's it called? It's, it's blurry. Okay, I'll focus it here. You hold it up and I'll focus it on it. All right. I want you guys to see the detail on this. So this was 75 cents and we're selling for 12.95. There we go. Perfect. Okay. It was blurry. I want you to see it. This is going to be 12.95. If it doesn't sell online before I put it in the shop, I'll print out a really cute picture because um, things always display better with pictures in them, especially frames. <clears throat> All right. Next. Let's talk about the false graph in the room. I actually love this pattern. I used to carry a ton of it, but some of it was kind of plain. And so like in design, meaning like plates, platters, things like that. Those take a little bit longer to sell. But when I find pieces like this that are like creamer, sugar dish, matching set of mugs, they sell a little bit quicker. So Zeb, these aren't all priced, are they? Yeah, they are. Okay, so they're so not. A, so these are a set. And those are a set. Oh, okay. So these I paid $1.50 for each, and they were from Savers, so I got an extra 20% off, and we're selling for $14.95 for the set. And they're just like very farmhouse. I love this pattern of false graph. And then the creamer and the sugar, I paid $3.99 each, and I'm selling for $18.95 for the set, and I did get 20% off. So I actually used my last discount coupon at the Savers, so I'm going to have to 
donate something so I can get another coupon. So the Savers is a little bit pricey, and so I don't the like. The one we went to was up there by Mill Creek. Yeah, they're bougie. And it's, it's kind of up on the side of the mountain, and everything's a little bit more. All right. Linda says, I have that pattern in canisters. My gel has like kind of semi solidified up at the top, at the bottom of this, and it's so thick. It's not Where's coming the one down. we just used on the stoneware? This is it. No, it wasn't Gorilla Glue. Yeah, it was. Okay, you might be right. My bun is sideways. This is why I don't wear a bun anymore. I got too much hair. There we go. Okay. Piggies! You guys want to see the piggies? So these I found on the Savers baggy wall, and they were $5. Less 20%. And they are salt and pepper shakers. Can you guys see them? Okay, good. It's not too blurry. And this one actually fits on that one just like this. And they've got like a granny floral on them. I think they already sold. Um, and I sold them for $14.95. And they do actually have the stoppers. And I just think they're really, really cute. Like, I don't think I'd use them, even though they are totally usable. Just because I just think they're so cute. for They're like snuggling. All right. We'll leave that for a second. Hasifa <laughs> says, my son wants a dog and he wants to name it Bushi. Do it. That's funny. That's a good I dog would. name. When you do it, if you get the dog, you got to get like we're a gonna rhinestone need a pick. collar. We're going to need to pick a Bushi. Yeah. We're going to need a rhinestone collar. Oh, Leah got the piggies. Rosh Rosie Ibarra, thank you for your super chat. All right. Let's move these along. I found a pair. Look how solid that already is. I'm going to put my hand in here just in it's case. It's sliding a little. It's already. No, it's not. Okay. I slid it on accident because I had it placed okay. wrong. Is it centered? Yeah, it's like it's like 98% good on the centering. I like that. It's really cute. I don't know what I'd put inside of it, but like a little figurine or a candle. I don't know why they had the candle they had into it was like upside down. Like you would have, yeah. I guess if you had, oh, maybe so it, it was like had for like a candlelight a, vigil. It, it probably, no, it wasn't for holding. It probably had like a little like ring or something on a candle holder upside down. I don't know. Like a candelabra. But I but saw it and I wanted one. to use it in this way. So when you guys go to the thrift store, sometimes you just have to look at things and imagine what they could be in a different way. We found several lids without bottoms, but we just couldn't find anything to match up. So we left them there. Maybe someone else will get them. He says, when is your shop open and where is it at? So we are already open. We're just doing the grand opening next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 15th through the 17th. It is in Lehigh, Utah, and the address is on the website and Google Maps and Apple Maps. But it's, it's 1190 90 North, North, 500 West. I was just letting them know, like, you don't have to write this down. Say it. Yeah, we just, actually show up on Google Maps now. Like, if you're driving if you by, Google it Jamie says Ray. Jamie Ray Vintage on the map as you yeah. drive by. So it's just Google J the address for Jamie Ray Vintage. It will pop up. So if anybody's coming to the grand opening, you'll be able to find us. It's an old church. We've got signs out front. All right. Miss. I need to paint this. Sherry says my bun is stinking cute. Thank you. I if we're doing it. it, what's the consensus? Is this sold? Um, and who did it sell uh, to? It's sold. It's sold. It's sold to. Let me see. Let me see if it was. All right. So where you're gonna have to do the candlesticks, I think. I think you can do the same finish on the candlesticks. I was just really excited to make this balloon look all. I like, know. I know. Like but pastel. Colleen, Colleen bought it and she Colleen wants it. Colleen did get it. Okay, she Colleen. Wants it for her nursery. I will put it aside. We will not paint it. All right. So these are going to get painted. They were 75 cents each, and they'll be, is this a 19 or a 14, Zeb? I cannot read your writing today. Uh, that's a 19. We're painting them. 19.95. So basically like 9.95 each, um, and we'll put cute pictures in them if they don't sell online. And I love the detail on them. Can you guys see that? It doesn't really look like much in this wood stain situation, and they're not even solid wood. They're like plasticky that they have brown. But it'll look cute. And sometimes what I do is I'll use like blue and then I'll just paint the detail in white and it's all French country. All right. This was, was it 50 cents? 75 cents. 75 cents. We're selling it for five ninety five, and that you might think, oh, why is that little thing so much? It's so cute. Wait for it. I'm coming, coming. to show you. It's a little egg cup, in, but it's got a hen. It's so on cute. the bottom of it. So you hard boil your egg so and the, you can the use nose, it for breakfast. The nose and beak is a little uh, a little scuffed, but it's still mostly there on the shape. Oh, Brendan says, if you're not painting the balloon, can you paint the doll chair? The doll chair might be more fun. Do we have sandpapers you can sand the top? Yeah, I don't even need to sand the top. I'm painting it. All right. Uh, doll chair. <laughs> so what did Les say? Mm. My bun is floppy. and but It gets better. Carolyn says... My bum is floppy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys kill me. All right, can you can you fix it? There's oh, like yeah. lines on each side. <laughs> hey, don't you be talking about her bum like that. <laughs> Soft boiled eggs in the chick. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you for being a new channel member, Karen. Um, I'm not sure. I think probably we're going to do channel membership this Tuesday. But we have a lot of things to catch up on because we just, my dad passed last week. And so we're just kind of behind it's on this everything. Week, two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> but uh, so we're going to do business coaching on Tuesday with Debbie. And I think we're going to do our channel membership a week from Tuesday. But we'll make sure we get two channel memberships or JRV subscriptions in this month. And um, we will post in community once we have the time. It's always 10 a.m., but just so you know ahead of time when that, that video is going to pop up. So, yeah. all right, let's show what else we got. We got a boxwood wreath. It, oh, it's sold already. It was $6.99 at Savers, less the 20%. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, this is a pretty good boxwood wreath. It looks like it's blossoming. Um, let's sell it for, you know, my price was... Uh, not right. We'll say that. Jamie's like, we're going to sell for nineteen ninety five, And she was spot on because it's already sold. Yeah. And if you guys do look for floral, wreaths are expensive. And this one is actually um, like really sturdy, if that makes sense. Like it's not going to, some of these are floppy and this one's well made. You can hang it out on your porch and it can handle the storms. If it blows through the yard, it's probably going to be okay because the so the stems on this are integrated into the wreath portion. It's really well made. Um, Karen says, which of your paint is best for porcelain? Um, any of them is fine. If it's super shiny and you use DIY paint, I, that's probably what I would suggest. Um, just be careful. Put your first coat on, let it dry completely. And when you put your second coat of paint on, don't push super hard because the shinier the surface until it's sealed, the easier it is for the paint to get up. So there, it does take a little bit of patience, but we've painted tons of porcelain with DIY. Well, and if you're if it's starting to pull, like your first coat and you're putting your second coat on and it's starting to pull on the second coat, just let it dry. And then, Don't fight it. Don't put a big old glob of paint on there. Easy breezy in the wrist because and then it's water activated. Because it, it'll once it's cured and dry, it'll stay on there really well. We know. We've done it a lot. All right. This was a dollar. I called this a little candy dish, but I think honestly you could use it for a lot of different things. And we are selling it for ten dollars. It's it's not pressed, it or it's not uh, cut glass. It's it's pressed, but it's a really good job. I can't even hardly. What did find I say I was going to use it for? And my mom, <laughs> Deb used to say that when you wanted to know my opinion on something. You, no, it's not so much anymore because Zeb's rubbed off on me. So there's a few things that I'm different from. But he used to say, if you want an opinion on something, just ask Jamie's mom and then separately ask Jamie and you're going to get the same answer. Um, and I told Zeb when I got this, I'm like, this is my ice cream dish. Oh, and yeah, my, mom saw it. Cup. my mom saw it and she's like, ooh, that'd be good for a big ice cream sundae. <laughs> so <laughs> we paid she said. a dollar and we're selling Jamie and my mom's ice cream sundae dish for $10.95. You can get a good amount of ice cream and hot sauce hot sauce hot, hot fudge. fudge yeah i mean I if do. you're into hot sauce on your ice cream go right on hot ahead. fudge in there so there you go it'd be like those plums that are dipped in the red oh thanks for the super the, chat the michelle pepper. toll i thought it was tool but it's toll thank you thank you ashley thought the same thing <laughs> ashley it's like we're related or something <laughs> ashley is caitlin's cousin all right this all right. this was three dollars at the other side thrift boutique i can tell because of the price tag yeah they use like these bright orange price tags and i'm i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that it is crystal hold on put it down yeah it rings yeah and it did have prisms in the light so there's a couple indications it's typically if it's crystal it's going to be heavier than glass it's going to have a clingy dingy sound i don't know how to and when you hold it up in the light it'll have prisms and I can't believe it was three bucks. It's a beautiful cake plate. Yeah, it, we're selling it for twenty eight ninety five. We do not have the dome for it, but it's good enough. It stands on its own, just as like a pedestal or cake plate. It's amazing. It's pretty common for a crystal like this. It would have been sold separately, anyways. Typically, it's not like a set. So, mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. All right. Thank you, Amy. She dropped the link for JamieRayVintage.com, which is where you can shop. All right, this is, a, I'm gonna bring this close so you guys can see the detail on this. It's got little handles over here on the edge and then almost like a, like there's there's like little beads, almost like hobnail, but not quite. Is it crystal wick or crystal 
Candlewick. Candlewick. You keep calling it Crystalwick, but it's Candlewick. And I knew you knew the right name because you called it Candlewick, but then I was like, what's Crystalwick? I and said I the wrong name up. on the video, but it got a lot of comments, which is engagement. And so yeah. it looks kind of like, what did I say? Candlewick? Candlewick is what But it I don't like. think it is. So if you know the pattern of this, let me know. I just thought it was pretty. And sometimes that's all it takes for me to buy something. So it was two bucks at the thrift store. We're selling it for eight ninety five. You can kind of see the pattern on there a bit. Jan says that would save a few trips back to the fridge for more ice cream, right? Like you get, you put your ice cream on your cake. So I'm weird. I, my birthday was this week. I turned 40 on Thursday and, um, I like to eat cake and ice cream, but I like to mix it she together. She like mushes it together. <laughs> it's like a really great flavor profile. So it's I like have a big cream, bowl. ice cream cake, but mushy. Yeah, it's good. They should sell it. This should be called ice cream stuff. And I just, <laughs> this would be perfect for mixing that. Okay, so I found these separately. It says not Candlewick, but it's not saying what it is. No, I don't think it is. So this is silver plate on brass. To give you kind of how long ago this was made, it says it was made in Hong Kong, which that hasn't been a thing in a while. Yeah. Um, this was $2, and we're selling, and this was also $2. They were from the Other Side Thrift Boutique, and they, they're not the same pieces, but I thought that they looked good together. We're going to leave them tarnished. If you want to shine them up when you get them, feel free. They will shine up nicely. They're in pretty good condition. Uh, but we like the tarnished look. But I just thought that they look, they went really well together. There's here, Let me show you this rose This is way more here. just like designed at the bottom. I think for chip and dip or you could do like a fruit with a fruit dip in there. They're kind of bougie. So for like a baby shower, you'd be like, let me bring out my silver for your fruit and fruit dip. <laughs> but for $16.95, you can be bougie. And I feel like that's pretty cool. Well, I thought they went really well together and they kind of played off of each other. My dad did pass on my birthday. I think he wanted me to know that I had exactly 40 years with him. And he also wanted me to remember him a lot. So he's like, I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> Thanks, the queen dad. also died and, and the queen we... died and all the my dad loved pomp and circumstance and all the flags are at half mast so we keep saying that they're half mast for my dad yeah mast is mast mast it's not mass. not mass mass i do what i can i do what i can all right let's talk about this i it's made in spain just thought it was cool but turns we out we can't they say are... the name no it's like way <laughs> waiter markenstein waiters back <laughs> anyway it's made in spain that's all mm -hmm. you need to know um I just really thought it was good cute. kind of stoneware style great shape on it got it's a little chip fun. here on the handle but it it's looks a great battle damage um and i saw these sell for usually around 30 ish or more dollars i like this white because that's my jam um and we paid 5.99 for it less 20 percent we're selling it for 22.95 all right what is water ice i don't know what water ice is either all right i'm gonna show this i'm gonna show these next oh two it's clips. half staff not half mast unless you're on a boat we are not we are indeed not on a boat i'm not on a boat so you learned something so that's why we have to have these community live funny streams. bone did you hit your elbow no you know when you like roll it over on your funny bone nerve damage oh yeah. do you not have that happen no you don't have nerve damage. Renee understands. She's watching. She knows what. Oh, just, just you made a great face, though. Just proceed. All right. So <laughs> this we picked up. It says crafted in USA. That's that's all great. But it was three forty nine. We're selling it for thirteen ninety five. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's a trophy from nineteen sixty seven. So ITA sixty seven second girls fourteen S. Don't ask me what that means, but trophies are good. Yeah, people love to collect trophies. It is um, like a, all, mo most of the silver, if not all of the silver we have is like plated. So not like super spendy, but it is silver plated. Um, and it was made in the USA. And how much is it? Oh, uh, we're $13.95. And then, sorry, you hit your elbow. Yeah, it's still like stingy. We'll have to get some ice cream. They said it looks cake. perfect for cranberry sauce. I already had ice cream and cake for dinner. Well, there's nothing that says you can't have it twice. It's my birthday month. Yep. So this is Lennox. And I'm trying to get the pattern to show up. Oh, there we go. Got it. And then it's got this gold around the lip. And I didn't even realize it was Lennox when I picked it up. I just thought it was really pretty. I flipped it over. I was like, score. I spent 75 cents and we're selling that little dish for $6.95. And I think it's going to be perfect for somebody's holiday decor. All right. We're, we just have like one. We have one more thing. Sell and then it. Sell it. Because I was like, Zeb. 
I love, and you know what? Your sister agreed with me. Deborah's here, and she's like, she I just love this little picture. She didn't even know I thrifted it. <laughs> All right, so it was a dollar. This was made in Italy, and it says, I can't say that. What? Let me see. Bormiola, Bormioli Rocco. I'm going to guess. It says, Bormioli. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Anyway, awesome little juice pitcher. It's got this plastic stopper and it has a nice rubber ring. It's in really good shape. Can you turn and it? then you twist the ring oh. and it doesn't. I would use it for syrup. You, yeah, you or gravy. Because you probably would fit in the microwave. Like we always have, um, like we use like these big pitchers. I'm going to go test it and see if it's short enough to go in a microwave. Our microwave is not one of the oversized ones. But it's really good thick glass, is too. Is the freeze dryer still on? The freeze dryer is still going. Your zucchini takes a long time. You've watered them well. Oh. You, you hear that sound right. in the background. It's too tall sure. for our microwave. So juice it is. Juice it is. There juice we go. Juice it is. But love that it's made in somebody, Italy. Somebody bought it. It's already sold. It, it's a great little picture. <laughs> I was like, I, think I it's don't like a not like it. I was just like, well, it's kind of simple. And he's like, no, I'm buying it. I do have to I think say it's a that quart and a half. it must be like hand-blown Italian glass because it's not yeah, it's not uniform. level and it's thick on the bottom. So had I not known, had I known that, I probably would have thought it was cooler. It does I cannot put that elbow down? Don't put it down on it's there. Not working well. For All me. right, this is our this is a beach towel that's been in the garage for a long time. You All right, we're doing that chair. Painted on, yep. Okay. I'm gonna do this chair. I've already got a lot of the stuff out. So Mariah says we're celebrating more birthday tomorrow. That's right. Mariah's on here and she made me a chocolate cake and she's making lasagna, and her lasagna is. My favorite lasagna in the entire world. Don't, Do you want to paint this? Don't tell everybody else that's made it for me, but her lasagna is really good. She mixes like spicy and regular sausage. At least that's what she told me. I don't know. It's really good. And she's making it gluten free for Zeb. Yeah, she, she hunted down some gluten free noodles. <laughs> they said, I totally get a birthday month. We are celebrating. I think, you know, in hindsight, we didn't realize it when we scheduled it, but we booked a trip to France. Um, in October, and it's really going to be about the perfect timing um, to celebrate my birthday. So I'm glad we did because I wouldn't have wanted to be in France on my birthday. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. We're going to celebrate then. I still have well, like. And I, also, you know, it's never the right time, but dad passing on Thursday, even though the grand opening is next week, he would have wanted us to keep doing it. And it kind of for our busy schedule, you know, I think he was thinking of us. It's it's going to be OK. Well, I also think too, like, it's good that we are busy right now because it just, you, you just keep going. You know, he was 89. He pretty much told me every day. He's like, today might be my last. So, you know, he was just he mostly, he was mostly to get trying to he me, wanted. he was mostly trying like, to get me to take him to Home Depot and get him a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did. Um, and he was a big jokester and liked to tease. So, you know, I feel like it's okay to laugh and enjoy the memory of things like that. Yeah, for sure. And you know what? Like, I think maybe sometimes people think, oh, well, they're handling really well. I think the grief comes in waves and there's times that you're just like, like the just first day. Just don't look at Jamie's eyes like in the real yesterday morning. Yeah, I look like I'd been punched because Thursday was hard. But you know what? Like you have to keep living life. I think sometimes people are afraid that if they keep going on, that they're not honoring a memory or that if they cry in public, it's going to be embarrassing. But I'm actually not embarrassed by those kinds of things. And I've just told people, I'm going to keep doing stuff. And if you see me bawling, just mind your business. That's, yeah. that's how we're going to roll. All right. What did you want me to paint this? Oh, Which... do you need a brush? Yes. You can just go. I mean, you want to okay. get, you want to get some cottage color no. here. This is, I was, so I'm doing a white base and then I'm going to come in with kind of like a wash of this. I might go back on with some white and then I was going to do some darker wax. On I think it. I want to do farm fresh. Well, I have some. Look I don't want to, I don't want to like have to put on so multiple this is coats DIY of white. paint. If you're new to the channel, this is DIY paint and it is uh, clay base, all natural. There's only like seven ingredients in here, no VOCs and it's really really amazing for blending and just painting decor and even furniture um and it's going to stick really well to this shiny piece you notice jamie didn't even like sand it or do anything like that does really good same with the cottage color but this has a built-in sealer this is very porous you need to wax it or seal it with a, some sort of liquid sealer and once it's not porous anymore it's it's rock solid and this paint on there and we also know 
I told myself the other day, I'm like, I'm just going to pretend like he's going on a work trip and I'll see him soon because he's going to be, you know, on the other side. I'm sure he's not going to be just hanging out, doing nothing. He's going to be busy working and we know we'll see him again. I feel like that makes things easier. Yeah. It's still hard, but having that knowledge of where he's at and who he's with and that he's with Jesus, it just makes things easier. And that's, it's exactly how he wanted to go. Like he wanted to go in his sleep. He didn't want it to be painful. And that's what happened. All right. Can you pass me that candlestick and over honestly, there? Honestly, he's been talking about it a lot for like six months. Yeah. He's been <laughs> laying wisdom down on me. He's like, I need to tell you some things. I'm like, thanks, dad. I got all the wisdom. Is that dry enough? Just do I need don't to be push, delicate? Just don't push hard, you know? It should be doing pretty good. <laughs> Gina says, love how Jamie uh, can paint without looking. Yeah, she doesn't need to look at it. <laughs> no, I've I have she painted just... thousands. And when I say that, I am not kidding. Thousands of things. I have paint on this dress. Does anybody so else is, have paint this dresses? This is DIY cottage color. We like to call this our paint, but really Debbie is making it for us. <laughs> yeah, it's got our name on <laughs> it because we picked Debbie's the colors. Design diaries DIY. Same. They're like the same family. Well, that has a built-in sealer, and this one is clay-based. This one is self-leveling. We spray cottage color a lot, and that's really fun. So, It's it's so good to, to spray. Did I listen to my dad? Jay, Les, that is like a lot of arrows. Yeah, I did. I listened to my dad. Of course. My dad's like me. He doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Where do you think I get it from? All right. So what are you doing with that? You're gonna put? Are you gonna put a transfer on it? Or, I might, because this is more stencil? of a flat surface. The balloon had standalone, and it had detail that I could put gold and stuff on, for my French country vibe. But this this is not level now. Uh, it wasn't level before. That farm fresh has it's farm fresh. We've Jan, had that one a long time. Jan says most of her clothes turn into paint clothes. It happens. <clears throat> yep, I'm in. I'm in the my my football shirt, and I'll probably have to end up getting a new one. That's like the a season. new one this season. I know. I just really like dresses. We I don't know why. I think it was Christy started calling them crotchless yoga pants because they're comfy like yoga pants, but they're open air. And I love big dresses, especially in the summer. It's been so hot, but it's finally cooling off here. Oh, we went from a hundred a record setting like hundred and five or something at the airport in Salt Lake to uh it was 52 last night and the high today was like 78. i need one of those turntables i know we have one mariah had to lend me her sweatshirt last night because i was chilly at the game oh man that was quite the game so lehigh went to corner canyon little history for you corner canyon's like nationally ranked really good football team oh, I'm pretty much that door. that's loud pretty much wins like m most of their games they play i think until they lost the state championship last year they had won like 20 something 28 games in a row um which is more than a couple seasons worth of games uh anyway lehigh went in there last night and we beat them 25 to 24 and man that the crowd was going wild it was a fun, fun it was game to be at. the best birthday present and you know what like such a relief of just a lot of pent up, like my dad passed, I had my birthday, like just a lot of going on. And it was actually fun for me to see how excited Zeb was. Like he was like jumping up and down when they ran and he gave me a big like hug. And it's funny because Odelia didn't want to cheer. She was she like, was pretty sad. she's like, I don't know if I can do it. And we're like, Odelia, you need to try. I mean, worst case, if you can, you could just sit it out. And she cheered such a good game. And her boyfriend Cooper got to start and he played the entire game and he did so good. And after the game, she gave him a big I wish I would have been able to film it. Zep's like, you're going to be regret that forever. But I have it in my mind. She was so excited. She like ran up and gave him a big jump hug. And I think sometimes you have to have things that are hard. So that way you really enjoy the things that are sweet. And it was a really sweet game. Well, Redrick was with us there at the game. And I looked over at him. I'm like, Redrick, I'm shaking, bro. He's like, me too, dad. It was so good. <laughs> and it was like to the last second, you tell him about the field goal kick oh no i didn't even so tell like him. to tell you how good this game was corner canyon scored 24 points in the first um three and a, two, two and a half quarters and we have not been scored on the defense has not been scored on at all 
this, this year. year. Um, the on. offense has been scored on once. The defense hasn't. So they're ahead. They're, they're beating us. With their, they're kind of in everybody's head. And all of a sudden, like, something switches. And then at that point, Corner Canyon scored no more points. So in a quarter and a half, Lehigh scored 25 points. So we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. There's not that much time left. We're like, the, the clock's like going to run out. like a minute and a half left in the game. <laughs> but Corner Canyon is good. Like, they are just spot on. Their throws are really good. Like, their receivers are it's just like machine work. And so they're marching down the field, and they have what? Like, how many seconds left? There was 4.1 seconds left, and they got it down to the 20-yard line, and they bring out this lights-out, like, field goal kicker. Oh, it was 35-yard line. Well, actually. well – because I read the article. Okay. But anyway, like they bring out It would out have been their, a 35-yard They bring out goal. their kicker. It's a no-brainer, right? Like, they're going to score. They only need one point, and they're going to get three. And the game's going to be over because there's just four seconds left. And they rush the kicker, and he missed it. And he missed it. Hmm. And the crowd just – it's insane. If you go to my stories, it's probably gone now but because it's been over 24 hours. But I have a video of – the boy, actually, no, because it was, no, you can still go. If you go to my stories on Instagram or Facebook, you can see the video of the team running up. And there was this boy that was coming up with a team because they have a tradition. They run up to the stands and they jump up and down and the cheerleaders are on each side. And this boy misses the crowd, runs to the side and his dad's standing there like right on the fence. And it was the sweetest thing. He runs up to his dad and he gives him a huge long hug. And then he goes on to celebrate with his team. And it was just it was a really good game, and they're my favorite football team, okay? It's not a secret that we love Lehigh football, so they got <laughs> to win the day after my birthday, and I'll take that as a birthday present. It was and really probably good. probably the hardest game they'll play all year. Yeah, it was so good. My, I have a giant purple cowbell, and it got rung. So moving back on to painting, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Now that we can talk, talk about other things. Oh, you missed a spot. Oh, yeah, I missed a whole um, row. These are, I'm not going to heat gun these because I don't feel like it. Um, but these are just going to get another coat and then I'll wet distress them and I'll probably either white dry brush them or white wax them. And I think they're going to look really good. I think they, they've been freshened up with paint, but they were a good base to start with on these candles. So for my, I was going to start earlier in the stream and let Jamie show you most of the goodies that we thrifted, but, and, and, and I, cause this is like a layered paint finish. So I don't know how far I'll get on this. I'm going to try to heat gun it and see if we can. We got 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes, so we'll see how far we can get. Do you want me to get you a stencil or a transfer? Yeah, why don't you give me a stencil? Because I don't feel like go, heat go gunning. So just pretend stencil. these are finished because this is all they're getting tonight. So those will probably – I'm going to imagine that those will get white wax or at least a heavy distress. Yeah. Because that's what we like. But, yeah, it's been, uh, been, been a bittersweet week, but also some good things happen. Oh, also – we we thrifted this. If you, I can't remember who it was, but somebody bought. Oh, somebody I bought a uh, cutting board, and Zeb was supposed to put a copper repair on it. And I told him, I said, I think you're supposed to put a copper repair, and he didn't. So we bought this cutting board, and Zeb is. It gonna got put mailed a, out, and she emailed, and she's like, "Hey, where's the copper?" Repair? Yeah, she was gonna do it herself, but we were like, "No, just keep it." So we're gonna put a copper repair on this cutting board, and we're gonna mail it out this week. And I might send her some of my good copper from the church. Yeah, all that's what flattened out so that she can do it to her other one if she wants. All right, I got this transfer. I think now I need to remember that I said that. Kathy says copper. Yes, so we actually take like copper piping. We ripped it out of the church and we flatten it, and then he nails it on with old nails that we've saved from the lath. We're slight hoarders, and we're gonna put the copper on it to hold where it's like split. It's split in the corner. We'll put that copper on there, and then it'll hold it together. It's how they did like. I don't have any here, but like if you look at old European cutting boards, instead of tossing them when they split, they would use copper to repair it and keep the wood together. Sorry if you guys can hear the the uh, freeze dryer. That harvest right in there is not very quiet. They're laughing at the needs more cowbell. Funny story about the cowbell. I've had one for years. People know me for it. My kids asked to borrow. In fact, Mariah's cute boy Logan was like, can I have your cowbell? I'm like, no. You're like, not tonight. Not Never, tonight, not tonight, either. not tomorrow night, not ever. It's my favorite thing. Like, get your own cowbell. <laughs> However, uh, we're leaving the game, and this lady's like, this not lady, this girl's like, oh, are you the mom with the cowbell? And I'm like, I am the mom with the cowbell. <laughs> it's like this giant purple one. It's my favorite thing. All right. Let's see if there's any questions. 
Pebby said she just looked at that video on my stories and she said it was sweet with him and his dad. I hope I tagged um, Lehigh football. So I'm hoping to see this. So they don't see the chair online. I mean, Deb, you priced that, didn't you? Yeah, it had a price okay. on it. Let me double check. Sorry, my phone is blowing up. So this is just water and I'm just dipping my brush in the paint and then until I get the consistency I want, I wanted a real wet brush. Um, I got the cottage color. It's got the built-in sealer. It's my nice base coat. And then we'll either distress back through or get this wet enough. It's going to look messy until it's done. And then it'll look, once it's oh, all the way done, it'll look Mariah good. just dropped the link above. It says doll chair 2295. That's the link to this chair. I wouldn't say it's necessarily. I mean, I guess American Girl doll. I think to you, that's what all doll sizes are because our girls had American Girl dolls forever. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know other dolls. Janine says new item in the store purple cowbell we actually probably not till next season but we've talked about having like a lehigh swag section because there's really nowhere to buy it in town lehigh fans are like pretty intense we typically will have as many fans as the if we're an away team as the home team and yeah we, we almost show up did last earlier. night they had people sitting out on the grass yeah because there wasn't you room. best save seats or get there early to get to a lehigh game and get a good seat um, let's see. <laughs> Kathy says I have that sticker. Hashtag slight hoarder. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I'm just seeing if there's any, if I missed anything. I don't think so. I see if I said I saw the boy that hugged his dad. It was beautiful. Okay. Mariah said she couldn't talk after the game. I think everybody was just hoarse. Like it was intense too. Karen asked about the boxes with the glass containers. Those actually sold already, Karen, for $49.95. Um, Mariah says, a lot of time we have more fans on the Lehigh side than the home game side. That is true. Lehigh's been like state champions and for, for a few years. Well, since Harrington was a sophomore, they've either been and, the state champion or in the semifinals. It's okay. It happens. I'll wash it off in a minute. I sat in the sun so long today. I actually had a soda before we went live to like perk Well, we both up. came home and I think we dozed for a little bit. I did. I dozed and Cody like slept next to me. He's my little buddy. All we right. can't fall asleep. Eliza's at a party. So I know. Go I got to go get her. Or Odelia can get her. She's She went hiking with Cooper, but she has to be done by now. Ode yeah, so dark. Cooper came over and he, I'm like, what are you guys going to do? And he's like, we're going to go hike. And I was like, Odelia doesn't hike. He's like, I know. She does for Cooper. Yeah. And then she was upstairs when I was asking him this. And she came down and I was like, we're, have fun. She's like, we're going hiking. <laughs> She'll have a good time. She will. She's going with Cooper and his mom. She likes to hike, hike Timpanogos, yeah, which is a is. very, very tall mountain. She's got hiking boots because we once, I told the story to Cooper, once we were in Park City and we were going to go do the slides. The Alpine and slide. And only had flip-flops and we'd already paid all this money for they our tickets. They don't let you on with flip-flops. Yeah, and they don't let you on. So we just went to this like fancy outdoor store that happens to be right there. And we bought her hiking shoes, which, I mean, I don't mind paying good money for hiking shoes, but the girl really doesn't hike. And they were like $150. So I was like, well, those are going to last you for the rest of your life. Yeah. But she has used Luckily, her shoe times. her shoe size doesn't change. Well, yeah. So she literally changing. will probably have those for the rest of her life. Literally. <laughs> she has really good hiking shoes. And then we turn the corner after we buy her these expensive shoes, and they had a van store. I could have easily bought her two or maybe even three pairs of shoes for the same price, but whatever. Now she has hiking shoes, and she was prepared. What color did you use on the chair? So, so this is the uh, white linen, white linen from Cottage Color. Cottage Color, and then we switched it, and that's got the built-in sealer. So that that base coat probably won't really come off even with when we wet distress unless we sand it, but I'm going to wet distress. And then we did Farm Fresh in the DIY clay base paint over the top, and that's this green color that you see. And it's a little streaky because I dipped it in water and put it over the white. But then I'm going to wet distress it. We're going to do a little transfer real quick on here. I got to so get So I have no idea what this says. It's in French. Is it? But it's part of the brocan. And be careful. Not not all things translate equally. But I, everything I've translated from IOD has been good. This is from the brocant. Brocante. Brocant. Bro, I don't know. Whatever. Brocant transfer. And it's got a lot of good stuff in here. So if you haven't bought this one, you should definitely get it because it's eight sheets of goodness. 
my dress is stuck to the <laughs> chair. What I don't know is if I have a stick. I had one oh. in my pocket the other day, and I think it's by the table. You could probably use a spoon. Um, I think I put it over there in the drawer where it goes. You can oh, check. okay. I can use multiple things, though. Okay, I think this is dry enough. I can throw a wet distress on Oh, yep, on there. here it is. Um, I think we're just going to use paper. Oh, no, we got a rag right here. All right, we're almost done. We have two more minutes. All right. Do you need something? No. Okay. Who's way behind me? Oh, he's not where we're at. Can you fix the screen? We've been on live for oh. an hour. All right. So that's going to make it look like age and old by wet distressing it. Because the cottage colors isn't all the way cured, we will be able to get through some of that. But once cottage colors is cured, like here, wave and say hi. Days, so you're not the mysterious there voice behind There's the my camera. sister. This is Deborah. She's visiting here. She came up the day that uh, dad passed and been with us. So if you use cottage colors and you wet distress and it's sat for a few days, you're probably not going to be able to get the paint off. But this is still pretty fresh, so it's working out all right. Yeah. And I'll show you before I put the transfer on. I'm going to try to be quick. But I just, yeah, just want to give that a disclaimer because I don't want somebody to be like, well, I painted and I couldn't wet distress cottage colors. It's just because it's not cured. Everybody says hello. When is Debbie coming? Debbie, so my sister flies out Monday morning. My sister, Deborah. Actually, just Deborah. It's not. There's no aura in there's there. There's no aura. Just the Deborah. That's my aunt Deborah. <laughs> um, and Deborah, which is Debbie's actual name, is flying in as they're like crossing in the sky. So she'll be here Monday. We're super excited. I've got her uh, Starbucks coffee pods here because that woman has to have her coffee every morning. It's not something we typically have here. So my kids are like, they were like, what is this? I was like, listen, Debbie's coming. She needs her stuff. And I don't know. I told her, I said, we're just going to work on stuff. We've got some yard work to do. We're going to work on some displays. So we don't have chill. anything that's critical that has to be done before the grand opening. Do we have some the things we want to do? The yard work is critical. We definitely have some things that we want to do to get ready. Um, but if it doesn't happen, it won't be the end of the world. So are you going to seal that before you put the transfer on or just heat gun and let it cool? I'm going to heat gun it right now and okay. I'm probably not going to let it cool. Let me show you this real quick. And you can see what I did with just two thin layers of paint. Neither one of them were full coverage on the layers. This is kind of like um, the paint finish that we did on those totes. So on this Wednesday. was going to go on that balloon and then I was going to dark wax it. It probably would have been a little, I would have done a little bit full better coverage on the white and then this wouldn't have been i would have washed this out a little more on the on the hot air balloon but this is this is the look i was going to go for and then dark wax yeah so this is going to be good it's it's fun to just do like layers of paint and just let them do their thing i do think you missed some drippy paint on the inside well, well I'll pick so that I, I didn't just wet distress everything yet I like the back yeah i just want to get this transfer on okay and then we can distress it some more all right all right, so this. Don't let that fall over. That's going to be super cute. It's, okay, so it's. Is right, it going to fit? Yeah, it's right there on the I edge. I got your stick. Do you want to flip it around so people can see you? I, I'm going to put it on here and then I will. Okay. Is Lehigh in a drought? My yard looks terrible. Yes, we can only water our lawn twice a week. We can water our garden um, every day because it's food that we eat, but the lawn is only twice a week. Yeah. But we need to like, I got to transplant flowers. We're actually doing, so next week, uh, we're doing the homecoming pictures at the church for Odelia and her boyfriend and 18 of their closest friends. <laughs> so we've got to get that looking a little bit better. Mostly it's just like weeds and stuff. And I'm sure Debbie will have lots of ideas to put in place. Fun fact, I ask, not that Zeb doesn't do what I ask, right? But sometimes when Zeb has had enough, he's like, I'm not doing that. I have more important things to do. When Debbie comes, she's like, hey, you know what would look good, Seb, is if you do this or that or the other thing. They conspire and, against me is what and happens. And he'll do it. So if I want something done and he's already told me no, I just get Debbie to say it's a good idea and could he do it? And then he does. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sneeze. Okay. All right. Let me get this transfer on here and then I'll show you guys. Gina says that mixer is beautiful and you are worth it, Jamie. Thanks, Gina. It was actually fun to paint it. I want to kind of look for some more older mixers and, and make them copper. Yeah. It was fun, but it took a long time. 
It did not. It only took me like four hours in the middle of the night. <laughs> All right. So funny story. I could probably share this without crying. Um, my dad was a little bit swollen the night before he passed. And so I gave him a diuretic because that's what he's supposed to have. And I told him, I'm like, sorry, dad, you're probably gonna have to pee all night and told him I loved him and good night, whatever. So I go to bed and Zeb's up late. And my dad, he didn't like, like to lift up his feet and he goes shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So you can hear him coming. And Zeb's like, what are you doing, dad? He's like, your mother-in-law's on the toilet. No. Oh yeah, yeah. And your wife gave me a pill that's going to make me pee all night. And so then he went to the bathroom. So we were bathroom around the corner and then he went back to bed. So I'm like, I'm sorry, dad. You spent your last night peeing. I was just trying to keep your ankles from swelling. Sorry, I had to flip this around, guys. I'll that's show right. you. It's hard to do when it's flipped around. I'll show way. you in just a second. Well, I was I was mushing some letters together. But yeah, I, uh, I told him, I'm like, good luck with getting back to sleep. <laughs> All oh, right. it turned out good. Okay. And we will probably come before we seal it. I'll come through with some sandpaper because you can't wet the stress these. Sally said, somehow I don't think no is in Zeb's vocabulary. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I say no a lot. <laughs> Zeb is actually. I do about 60% of the projects Jamie wants done. <laughs> it's a solid 60-40 split. I can't help it that she wants a lot of projects done. This, this is true. All right. Look how cute that is. It's a little French, a little chair. It looks good. All right, All right guys. guys. Oh, jinx again. <laughs> we spent a lot of time together. It is 934. We've been on over an hour. We're going to let that dry. We will clear wax it. I don't think we're going to dark wax it. I don't think it needs it. Um, these candlesticks, I will get a second coat. Oop, the glue was not dry. Sorry. It's okay. I'll make it. I'll make it nice and straight. Are you I might put some screws I was going to say, are you going to screw from the other side? Okay. Um, Before it gets shipped, that'll get sturdy. I will put another coat on here, wet to stress it, and wax it. Anyways, if you want the paint products you saw I was used tonight, you can go to JamieRayVintage.com. That's also where our thrift haul is. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. And we will see you next week while we are getting ready for the grand opening at the church shop. It will be a fun Waste Not Wednesday happening. It'll be good. Whatever. We don't even know what it is. I do. It's, it's the trunks. Oh, yeah. We're doing trunks. Unless we change our mind. Unless we change our mind. All right. Bye, guys.